For now, I'm going to uh, pass by the charting module and go directly to the ranking module. Now, if nothing else is open in HGSI other than the main menu, if you click on the ranking module, it's going to take you directly to the industry groups. You can see that there are 176 industry groups, and that number changes occasionally, and it's currently set on E and slow relative strength, which is a long-term relative strength ranking. In fact, uh, it uh, looks at the last six months and puts 70 percent of the emphasis on the last three months. Now you have several options here. You can look at the long term and uh, if uh, that's what you're interested in uh, that's great but you have a great deal of flexibility. If I go over here and click on the options and uh, go down and uh, select uh, comparative relative strength you can see that this is set on two weeks. Now you have the option of comparing uh, the uh, industry groups to either securities and market indexes or you can uh, go to the major market indexes and choose any one of these other major markets. I'm just going to cancel this. I'm going to leave it on the SPX. I'll uh, leave this on two weeks. And the personal care services is number one in the long term relative strength. But when I switch to number two, a personal care drops all the way down to number 166. So over the past two weeks, it has not been performing well. Now, if I uh, click on my home key, it takes me to the top of the list. And power generation is number one over the past two weeks, followed by biotech. Now, if I want to see how the biotech index has performed against the S&P over the past two weeks, I can change this from relative strength to raw relative strength. Now, just remember that the base line number for relative strength uh, for the S&P is 100. So any of these industry groups that are above 100, and I'll scroll down here, see if I can find 100. Um, it's, it's right in here somewhere. 114 groups over the past two weeks have outperformed uh, the S&P 500. Not by much. Remember, uh, the S&P baseline is 100, so the utilities have barely outperformed it. But if I go back up to the top and look at this biotech index, it has outperformed uh, the S&P by 11.41% over the past two weeks. So that's where the short-term relative strength has been. Same for power generation. And I didn't emphasize power generation because it's a small index compared to biotech. You can see that the steel uh, raw material suppliers are moving up. Now let's go back in here and uh, I'll just make this one week. So looking back one week, you can see that air freight has outperformed the S&P by 8.43%. The biotech index has outperformed by 7.38%. Looking at another option, if you want to see the percent change over the past one week, the air freight index is up 9.91%, and the bio index, biotech index is up 8.8488%. The point is, you can come in here and get a feel for how these groups are comparing uh, to the S&P or any other uh, major, major market index over indexes over various time periods. Very powerful. And then you're not limited to just looking at the indexes. You can change to the industry group. If I go down to the industry group and uh, then go up to the top, click on my home key, you can see that uh, using the percent change one week, that here's a stock uh, that was up 100% uh, for the week. Now let's go, let me go back in here and let's compare this uh, to the S&P. And I'll just click on that. And uh, this still remains on top. I'm sure it's a very inexpensive stock. But anything over 100 is outperforming uh, the S&P over that one week time period. You can see this is a very large group. Now when you see a white line like this, this means that this stock is probably more than likely an IPO just came out and it doesn't have a lot of ranking information. Same for this one right here. Uh, but this is a very powerful module and uh, I'm going to show you how you can really narrow this list down 
uh, you're not going to want to look at 243 stocks or even the top 50 stocks. But for a comparison, it is uh, very, very helpful. Now I'm going to go back up to the industries and re-rank these uh, compared to the S&P, uh, the SPX for the last week, and uh, this is the way they currently stand. Now if I click in this area and click on end and go down to the bottom, you can see that uh, uh, some of these stock groups are clearly underperforming. And if if there are uh, stocks that are under $5, they're not even going to be ranked because that is my minimum price ranking. So you can see that these two areas are blank here, and that's because uh, these stocks in these groups have uh, either uh, uh, they're, they've fallen below $5. And more than likely, there's only one or two stocks in these groups. So anyway, that's a quick introduction to the ranking module. I'll be uh, doing more of this in the future.